Hi guys, this uh, Panasonic Sambar SC HTB8. It is a Sambar with uh, built-in subwoofer and it has uh, 80 watts. This uh, Sambar doesn't have a screen, so for example, if you put volume up, you can see value. You just can see light is flashing, so volume is going up. Uh, subwoofer is built in and uh, on subbar there are a few physical buttons like power button, volume, input selection and Bluetooth. On uh, this side you can see function which is already in use. Like now I'm using Bluetooth so I connected my TV, LG TV with Panasonic soundbar to Bluetooth without any problems. Uh, you can use uh, also optical port or you can use it with uh, Blu-ray player or DVD player and uh, over here you can choose clear voice or surround or you can turn both off. This uh, soundbar has uh, 80 watts and uh, Surprisingly, it's very loud, but uh, what I'm missing here is subwoofer. The, over here is built-in subwoofer, but it's not as powerful as I prefer. But uh, overall, it will improve your song quality if you're watching any movie or if you even listening to music. In the back of the unit, there is optical port. This, uh, aux in so you can use even your mobile phone if let's say bluetooth uh, will break down you can use mobile phone or you can use it with a dvd player or with a telly and optical port is uh, also easy just plug uh, one end over here second end in telly and that's it and uh, well that's only two ports and uh, bluetooth and uh, over here there is a button which you can uh, switch between if a soundbar is uh, wall mounted or if it's on table, so you just switch this button and you get uh, different sound settings. Remote controller is uh, also basic. There are only eight buttons or no seven buttons, like power button, surround, clear voice, input, Bluetooth, volume button, and a mute button. So it's very basic. Overall, it's very basic uh, soundbar, but in this uh, price range, you can't expect some top soundbar. And as I said before, it will definitely improve your sound on your telly.